I met some great people at the fourth annual Surf Film Festival, running in conjunction with the Hawaiian Vintage Surf Auction. Tell me about the first surfboard you ever owned. The very first board was a foam board, wood board. Well, no, this is Bossa, Bossa Wood Foam, Bossa Wood Foam 96, Hobie. Beautiful board, so I wish I still had a few of those. They're worth thousands of dollars. Then I had a beautiful Dewey Weber. If you know Dewey Weber, it's had a beautiful 96 Dewey Weber channel nose. And then I finally put a leash on the 96. Finally put a leash, and I liked it because it uh, thing. But see, in our days, when you lost your board of macaw, sometimes you had to swim for maybe 45 minutes in very serious water. And then when your board went all the way in, it got caught in the shore break, so your board was up in the beach, and sometimes the shore break alone was 12 feet. So you have to be a water man. These kids nowadays, they're great surfers, but I'm just wondering sometimes, say you're out at Sunset Beach with 15 feet, your leash broke. You better be a good swimmer, because it's serious business out there. I love Sunset Beach. Macaw was my favorite. Holly Eve was real good too, I love Holly Eva. But our days was Waikiki, and Waikiki in the old days, Oh, we had surfs like Rabbit Kay Kai and Conrad and, 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 and these great, great surfers, Richard Coho and stuff. These guys were the kings of the beach.